right, time for our Zayo connection. It's Marco Anthony of Utah. So first question we have to ask you, Marco, you guys have struggled through all those heartbreaking losses. What's it What's it like now to come here and win two back-to-back -back at the end of games? I mean, although we've uh, been losing, I feel like uh, we've been progressing uh, a lot, especially these past few weeks. And so just to now get over the hump, that's big for us. And, you know, especially at this time of the year, it's, it's huge. What about for you, Marco? You know, we talked during the broadcast about, you know, you being underappreciated in the Pac-12. It may have to do with you guys not winning as much as maybe you'd like. But just talk about your mindset and, and, and your approach. An unusual, very good rebounder for your size, but also on the defensive end, guarding the other team's best player every night. Yeah, I just, you know, uh, you come out to, you know, win the game. And so that's just the mindset I have is to just do whatever it takes to win and, um, you know, this season leading up until now, you know, we've been on that uh, other side and it's been some obstacles. But like I said, we're getting we're getting over that hump. That's what I was going to ask you about. And obviously, we don't know about Brandon. He went down again today with what looked like a sprained ankle. But let's say he's right. How much of a motivating factor is Vegas in the Pac-12 tournament? The last couple of years, the teams won, won out, won the thing and got themselves in the NCAA tournament. Is that something you guys talk about? In the locker room. Hey, we talk about that every day. I mean, uh, nobody has the same story, and we're just writing ours. Great. Marco, thanks. Congratulations. Congrats, man. Appreciate it.